This book is a beautiful book. Just the picture alone attracted me. By the way, you're watching One Dope Goddess blog. In today's book, as you can see there, 52 record covers from 1955 to 2005. Now, I'm going to skip through it because I just want to show you the pictures in here that really caught my eye. New York Angel, 1965, a.k.a. Ellen. This is her album cover. And I'm going to investigate... And do some more research on LPs from back in the days. It's a little bit past my, my time because I grew up in the 70s, but I was little. It was my mom's who had the record player. I grew up into the CD era. But I just feel so cozy. It gives me this nice cozy feeling to invest into a record player. I I have an urge to feel the music and just the sounds of you actually putting the music on the record player, taking it out of the record. It's just I just have this cozy feeling to get it. So I'm in best in getting it. So this is what called drew my attention. All this beautiful artwork. Look at this. I mean, we don't we don't even value or treasure the artwork now and music because everybody's downloading streams now. So here is something that's actually in English, and I'm gonna read you a little bit of it. Back in the days, it wasn't enough to just listen to music; we had to devour it with our eyes too. The golden age of the LP, otherwise known as the stereo, lasted from the end of 1960 to the middle of the following decade. And it was occupied by the entire ritual that today's generation will never fully understand. Exactly. The first, you slide the record out of the sleeve, dust it with an antistatic cloth if necessary. After placing it carefully on one turntable, you check the needle. The delicate point tucked beneath the stylus, setting the tone, arm in motion. You watch it guide in mathematical grace as the platter gather at its required speed. Here's an example here. This, this young generation don't know what a record looked like or LP. Just look at the beautiful artwork. You know, this, this really, really captivates me. So, guys, you know, I'm going to have to invest. Look at this. C come on. Look. We don't get nothing like this now. D just how mesmerized the artist and the actual singer. Look, Jimi Hend Hendrix. Look at this. The connection with the music and the artwork on the LPs. Earth, Wind, and Fire, 1969. We don't have this connection no more. It's a disconnect with music now. The initiation. Did I pronounce that right? I know I didn't. <laughs> Carlos Santana. Look at that. Nakedness is beautiful. That's art. Look at this art piece. Bitches Brew, 1970. Look at this. Mal Davis. So I just had to make a vlog on this because it was just it's too much art not to <laughs> for me to show. It's just it's, this is the best one of my best books that I, I've received. Look at this. Me as a graphic arts designer, 
I was in tune to get this book. The art alone. You know, like I said, it's not in English. <laughs> but the visuals and the pictures in here was made worth to get it. Malcolm, Malcolm X, 1971. By any means necessary. So there you have it. I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to make a vlog on it. I just didn't want to just put it in my on my blog and just show pictures. I needed you to actually see the visual of the book. And this is a heavy book. Heavy and thick book I carried. But it's well worth it. Stay tuned for a, a new book discussion on my podcast next week. It was supposed to be this week, but I'm not I'm decisive of what book I want to read. So, all right. So, you watching One Dope Goddess. Hope to see you soon. Hear from you soon. Let me know what you think in the comments about about this beautiful masterpiece. One Goddess out.